beautiful, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reading some of your assumptions about me. Some of them are right on. There, there was like none that were wrong. Like y'all kind of got the gist of who the fuck I am. So that's cool. We're gonna do this hair while we talk about it. If you're interested, if you wanna hear what y'all had to say, if you wanna watch how I got the style, stay tuned and keep watching. All I gotta say is, Mwah! and you already know who it is. Hey, uh, I'm trying to be in a good mood. I'm feeling nervous, but um, I'm just, you know, putting out forth energy that this is going to be a great install. I'm not going to get mad doing my half up, half down, and I'm going to be cute, and I'm going to be a bad bitch, and I'm going to take some fire pictures, and that's just going to happen. I'm going to do my hair while I read some assumptions that you guys have about me. Surprisingly, they were, like, pretty positive. Um, <laughs> I think Nick's was thinking I was just like... A terrible person but like they're all just like kind of similar let's get started y'all see me like a lot <laughs> so let me pull them up oh oh yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna just hold my phone like this while I find them so y'all can just see what's going on here with my fingers okay okay damn <laughs> well the first one I read said I honestly assume that you have ADHD and depression and maybe some anger issues but seriously I love you um, not me just giving ADHD like radiating wild, you know, chaos. Um, yeah, woo! But I'm not, I don't be mad that much that often now because I don't allow myself to be mad. But I used to, I used to, yeah. Um, <laughs> glad we got that one out the way. Let's talk about this hair. This hair is from You Nice, it's an 18 inch pre plucked. I don't think this is transparent lace, man. I think it's like medium brown, but I'm gonna glue it on so hopefully it's not too bad and i just look beautiful i want to say this wig was pre-plucked like shit i mean i I'm i'm gonna grab all the hair i plucked out of it this is it usually i have them fat ass balls it's a little lace in there too but yeah, usually i'll be having them fat ass balls but no it wasn't even enough to wrap it into a ball that's how much i plucked out of this wig so this was very pre-plucked like if you weren't me and you just wanted to throw on a wig I don't know, man i don't know if everybody wig come like this i hope it do because that's pretty fire i knew i didn't want no wig cap on i hate man i take this bitch off and this wig is also 13 by 4. And I also did spray some even tinted lace spray on it. I'm seeing this this lace is going to bother my eyes. I have no time. Like, I don't have the time. Like, I just don't have the time. So, we're just going to go ahead and just make it easy on this. Good. Now that I can see, let's keep moving forward. I know some people have asked me, like, why I haven't been wearing ball caps. And honestly, it's just rooted in laziness. That's what I can tell you. I'm going to bring it down a little lower than usual, though, because I don't plan on having um, any front baby hair just some side swoops i'm trying to knock down this forehead a little bit you feel me i think i need to plug some of this side real quick so let me do that i'm gonna show y'all because why not y'all can stick around for this i'm about just it just seems like it's like a line like i said um this wig came pre-plugged but even when they do that it's like a little it's just a line they follow i guess and it just makes it look kind of um not as natural as it could and then if you watch my last video where i had like a fake ass detailed install you would um have an updated routine on how i fuck my wig so go ahead and watch that if you haven't already let's turn my heat down it's kind of spicy in here okay now that's a little less spicy now i'm gonna cut my wig in three sections and then we can hop into the assumptions while i do on my wig um actually i need to put like two layers of this glue on so i'm gonna do that off camera and come back for my third layer that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna see y'all in two seconds. Hold on. So I forgot to do the transition. Okay, so I got my second layer on. I think I'm gonna try to do this in sections. I didn't really think this through actually because I probably should have just um did it one by one, like section by section, but I ain't done this in a while, you feel me? Like like the other day I smoked with somebody and then I said like let's spark our blunts at the same time like i forgot how rotations worked you know like i'm just out of whack right now but we're gonna make it work that had nothing to do with doing hair but did y'all know i smoke weeds i do <laughs> i'm gonna do another layer in the middle and then do the sides next assumption people think i'm younger than i actually am i have no clue how old people see me as because i remember when like you tried to be older than what you seem like you are like when you're in high school and stuff like you don't want niggas to know you're 17 for some reason like it's weird like why do we do that you put the male gauge or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I just always feel like I have a, a, a chubby face, you know. I feel like I get very much teenager. Um, 
But you feel me? When I put myself together, I feel I give my little cleavage. Man, I don't know how old niggas think I am. I don't know. I feel like I give young though. Don't I give young? Next one is that I like girls. Well, I said that already, baby. So was I? Was I? <laughs> I guess my 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 real overall thing out of all this is that I just exude this energy. Like somebody said, I exude anger issues. Like I be mad sometimes. I don't even be mad all the time. But yeah, I'm a gay ass bitch. I'm gonna pull it down now. And then I'm gonna use my comb. Or I know what I'm gonna do with my comb. Yeah, but no, that's the right comb. You know I got hella hair in my shit. Oh, it don't come off when I take my wig off, but we will see. Um, I use something now. Well, I thought I used something now to take off my wigs. That's the thing about moving, like, where'd all my stuff go? Anyway, I guess I'll just put this to the side and try to keep moving forward and hope that I find, I buy a new glue remover. I just use like this, this 90 second, 30 second glue right here. I use that to go my wigs now and it works like a charm. I'm getting you like, you love to splurge on yourself and you work hard for what you got for our next two assumptions. And like, yes, yes I do. <laughs> I'm just really not like a gift person. I've never received a lot of gifts in my life and like, I, I don't like to give gifts. I'm big on like, if you want something like, just date it for yourself, like why wouldn't you? <laughs> so, um, I just try to splurge like, making sense with the splurge. Like, I, don't, I try not to do nothing too crazy. Like I always try to, um, what's that saying? You can you buy uh, three of it? If you if you can buy three of it, you can get it type stuff. That's, what, that's the motto I've been working with lately. Cause you know, when you get some money, cause I mean, I recently fell in, I mean, I ain't always had money. <laughs> I was a broke bitch like last year, you feel me? So um, it's so hard to manage money when um, you just never had it before. I do like to splurge, but I try to splurge like with the purpose, you know? My work days are far and few in between, but when I work, I fucking work. Like, but I'm thankful for um, having the opportunity to have a job where I don't need to work 12 hours um, every um, five days a week, you know? Thankful for that. But I do work really hard. Okay, combing it. My hair really just wanted to be in this loop so bad. It's kind of um, scaring me. <laughs> Please don't do this. Like, I do not recommend that y'all don't wear a ball cap. Like, it's not for the faint of heart or the faint of edges. If your edges is lacking, you know your edges is kind of on the thin side, baby. Put on that ball cap. It's for your own good. Do as I say, not as I do. This next one is you prefer your own company rather than being with other people. And like, I, if you follow me on Instagram, all them posts, you know them, them like text posts, it's like, I don't need people. I'd rather be alone. You know those ones like them corny ones? I'm gonna find like ones to put on the screen of like a stupid corny Instagram post about how you like being alone and how you don't fuck with nobody. It's like, yeah, I be posting that shit because I don't. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, I feel like some of these assumptions are like shit that like I blatantly like expressed in front of y'all. But yes, I do prefer my own company. Um, I'm really cool as fuck and I'm really glad I get to be me because I can't imagine being no lame ass person. No personality having ass person. Like that would really be so depressing. And also like you should really like yourself because you're the only one person you get. Like you're the only guaranteed person you got in, in life, you know? You might as well like yourself and have a good time with you. So yes, I do be having a great time by myself. That I'm hot. Baby, we knew that already. Now you see my this fan going, mm. I just, I'm just exuding sex, you know? Just oozing and get out of my pores. Y'all not ready for this Instagram post later. Well, if you're seeing this, that's your post already went up. If you've seen it, you've seen it. Yeah, y'all not ready. I'm hot as fuck and I'm coming for that savage sponsorship. <laughs> Next one is I don't like people. It's not that I don't like people. It's just that I don't wanna be around y'all all the time. Like my social battery is like for one outing a week, you know? That's all I can really handle. I really need my time alone. I give them my like one day a week of outer activity with other people, but other than that, I really can't. I can't hang. I'm gonna fan this down a little bit so that the places where the glue was a little not that dry can dry down a little more before I go ahead and put on the elastic band. That I'm juggling a few niggas right now. Not y'all thinking I'm juggling a few niggas right now. The way that the niggas have gone, you know, I just don't really have the time. I don't get respond to these niggas. Um, one of the niggas that I was juggling really showed his ass in like the worst way. So um, that's done. I only got like one niggala, ni niggala. <laughs> I only got one nigga I'm juggling, juggling right now. So hopefully they act right. And nigga is definitely gender neutral. Don't think my roster is just niggas, you feel me? Yeah, was that a wink? Did I wink? 
But niggas is always gender neutral. If you ever see me talking about niggas, I'm hardly probably ever talking about a man. <laughs> but you, it's, uh, it's also a possibility that I could be though, you know? But like, niggas is gender neutral. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start raising off this lace. I'm gonna zoom through this because, yeah, so let's turn on that high speed, okay? Okay. <laughs> I might do a little front baby hair, but not too much, only because the lace is a little dark, but it depends on how it goes after I put on the elastic band. So my lace is cut off, and that's what we're looking like. I feel like I want to pluck it while the lace, my elastic band is long, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pluck a little bit on the sides right here. But a little bit, you know, not too much. I really like this, um, this side portion right here. I think I like this middle. I don't know. I, I just, you know, I think my brain be knowing that I'm putting on a wig, and it's like, bitch, this looks like a wig. And it's like, it do look like a wig, but it's like a nice wig. I don't know. I'm trying to work out of that, like... I look the fuck good, like brain, leave me the fuck alone. Let's go ahead and pluck a little bit of this off camera. I'm gonna come back when it's time to do my baby hair. So the elastic band is off. I plucked a little bit on the sides, like by my ear area. And I think I like that a lot better now. I'm still kind of iffy about what I wanna do. I'm gonna use this edge fixer, the Sweetie collab. collab. I was talking about how this lemon drop ate that lemony, you feel me? Really missing very cherry. Every day I sit here and I just miss the other scent I got, you know? Not that I love checking my ass, girl. How'd you know? When you got an ass this big, what Trina say? She said, I got an ass so big like the sun. Y'all didn't feel that like how I did. She wasn't talking about herself either. She was talking about me. Not somebody said you hate us because you haven't posted the Rape the Wigs video. Well, girl, because I ain't putting no wig on, but I think um, I should be filming it this weekend. I just need to put on a wig. I couldn't be writing y'all's wig with my natural hair and a slick back. Like, would I have the qualifications to rate y'all's wig if I was doing that? I don't know, but I don't hate y'all, and I will. I am doing that still, for sure. And it's not too late. If you want to send your submissions to JuliaRateMyWig at gmail.com, that is where you have to send over to be featured in the video. Make sure you send your Instagram name or your name, whatever one you want to be featured, and send it over to me, and I can get to talking shit about you. If you watched the last one, I didn't talk shit about nobody. It was all very positive. Um, don't worry. I'm not going to clown you. Nobody's here to clown you. That's not the go, but I am gonna talk a little shit, you feel me? <laughs> in my natural hair, like I have like this thing I do where I try to make all the surrounding hair by the edge like make sense, you know? So I try to like comb it. I'm, right now, the point of me doing my baby hair is before I do the ponytail is that all the hair is like slicked up how it needs to. So my goal right now is to just make that with like how I do my natural hair. So now all of that is like fake laid in my head, it makes sense. Somebody said it only takes one time for a nigga to fuck up and you out the door, and that is true. Um, I have no time for the games. I really don't. I'm not one of them. I'm not playing with you. I've been saying this the past few days because um, if you guys know who For Harriet is, she does commentary on here. Um, she, her name is Kimberly. Kim was talking about how uh, Wendy Williams like was really a uh, cautionary tale. I'll link that video if anybody wants to watch it <laughs> down below. And she was saying. A terrible man is infinitely worse than no man. And I'll say it again for y'all. A terrible man is infinitely worse than no man. No, it's mm. true. It's true. Sleep on that. Now it's time for my sideburns. They didn't think I was going to sing to y'all like that, but here I am. And I'm just going to use this little hot flat iron that my mom definitely still don't want. And I better not see her comment under this video that she want her flat iron back because I know she doesn't. Then once that's curled, um, we can get the... I like to apply my grip gel to my brush, because I've been seeing that. Okay, so that's what we're looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera and come back after I got this ponytail in my head. Y'all not gonna have me fucked up. Um, if I end up doing the middle baby hair, I'll end up coming back and showing that, but if not, then we'll just move forward. Alright? Alright. Like a ride, man, I'm sorry for the damage that I caused, baby girl, I like the party. I'm gonna spray some pump it up on the hair and the wrap around I just did. All I did for the wrap around was just some, some wet line around the hair and combed it out, made it smooth. And now I'm gonna spray some pump it up and put a scarf on my hair so it can flatten the area around it while I'm curling the hair. So I'll pull this out so I can feel good about myself. Let me see what this is looking like. I'm not even gonna smooth that bitch out. I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap it. I know it's been a little second, we'll hop back into the assumptions. Now that I got that Gorilla Grip Super Soka Hot Tub 3000, how'd you know? Before we get to curling though, I'm gonna add a little bit of the silk. And this is the Ion Silk Drops. I use these all the time. Put a little bit of that in my hair just for shine purposes. It's already pretty shiny, but 
you can always get shinier. My plan is to do small curls. I have this curling iron I got from TJ Maxx, a little tapered one. Um, this is different than the usual curling iron I got. Um, it's set to 380. I'm gonna put on this hot heat glove because y'all know I love burning myself for some reason. I don't give a fuck about these niggas. And that's what they say. And I said it like with confidence because, yep, I don't give a fuck about these niggas. I never have and I never will. So now I used to give a fuck. But like, you gotta stop giving a fuck eventually. Like, you gotta learn one day, like, hey, it's time to, it's, you'll, you'll just know. Wait, am I doing, see, I'm tripping. <sighs> see, I, that's why I did what I did because I already was knowing I was gonna put it on the wrong hand. <laughs> Y'all's brains not be working. I'm trying to figure out, like, how did I do this? Oh, uh, like this. Did y'all just see what I did? Because I just had the heat glove on this hand, but I didn't. How was I planning to do? Oh, like this. Okay, I guess. Somebody said I was the smartest in my class. That's so cute that you think that about me. Girl, the way um, I stopped showing up. <laughs> Well, school was hard. I don't know about y'all, but for me, school was hard as shit. And not in like the way y'all probably thinking, but like in the, I was going through a lot in school. So it was a lot way. This is not it either. I don't know how to curl hair. I'm gonna go back to the other hand. I got, I'm just on camera embarrassing myself not knowing how to curl hair. And this is what y'all come to my channel for? No, I need to go back to how I was doing it. Okay, back to the other hand. <laughs> I should edit all that out, but I'm not. I'm gonna let y'all know that I be mean, this girl had the nerve tell me I'm the smartest in my class. I graduated with the honors though. And when I applied myself, I didn't let my ADHD get the best of me. I definitely uh, excelled. And then also I'm gonna pin these up like every few of them. So like these are gonna get pinned up right now. I'm a dope ass friend. And that's really true. I am a dope ass friend. I really, I value my friendships, all of them. Um, I'm a, I, I try to be a great friend. I aspire to be a great friend. Not everybody's saying I stay high. I do though. I really do. Well, not really. I know some people that stay higher than me. Good. Shout out to them. Cause I don't know how they do it. I need to like, <laughs> I have to get shit done. <laughs> so I can't be high all the time. So the niggas that can be, I'm jealous. Um, I don't know how you guys function. Um, I wish I could. Okay, my camera had to hide, but it was okay because I just ended up curling the other half of my hair. So now we just got this little ponytail left. Let me go down a little bit. Hold on. Yeah. At first, I thought you were, you were stuck up and going to be another cliche YouTuber. Um, I'm very glad that that's not the, the image still. I, I like really try not to be like the other YouTubers in the way that like I show y'all when I'm upset and I show y'all when shit don't work out. I keep it a buck with y'all. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I be myself. At, at the end of the day, I try to really be myself. So I'm glad that's like not the, the perception. That's what I still say. I still look my mama. No, bitch, I paid this rent on the, on the third. That's what I did this month. <laughs> Uh, I wish I didn't though. It's not a flex to pay rent at all. But I talk shit about this is my first time paying uh, a full month's of rent because last month I didn't pay a full month's of rent. So now this month I did. This glove is like really useful. Like I didn't know how much I needed a glove until this came with this, this flat, flat iron. This is not no flat iron. This is a curling iron. I did not know how much I, need, I needed a glove until now. Because like I can't, I can wrap around the end with my hand now. It's like, wow, I was just not doing that before. Somebody said, filming your YouTube videos was a chore for you, but now that you have your own space, it's not. Oh no, baby, it definitely is a chore. I'm working on it not being a chore though, because I'm blessed enough and fortunate enough to have a job like this. I'm fortunate enough to have a job like this, so I wanna not be make it a chore, but I don't know, I just overthink so much, and I'm really working on like not doing that. So, it still is a bit of a chore, but I do like the fact that I can do it whenever I want, and I don't have anybody like, I don't know. I really enjoy doing things when I want to do them. I hate authority. Like, I hate being told what I should do. Like, I don't know. That's, the freedom of it now, it feels better. Um, now I'm only going to record videos when I want to and when I'm in the, the mood for it. Um, I was supposed to record this video yesterday. As you can see, this video did not get recorded yesterday, but it is getting recorded today. So, um, I think it's still a chore, but I'm working on it not being a chore actively. Now somebody said you swear your booty big. We just discussed that it is, in fact, humongous. Like, y'all saying I'm a bad bitch and I really appreciate it. Somebody said that I've been a trendsetter and absolutely. I think I realized my, um, I think it was my senior year. That, like I had a little bit of influence because I remember um, when I first started wearing juicy suits. I just really loved them. So I got like five of them and I was wearing them to school like every week, like every day. 
And then I noticed the bitches like was really flocking, like they was really following along. I really like saw in like first person like how many kids I had, and it was kids back then, but now I'm an influencer, so it has to be like, oh, I'm an influencer, that's what I want. You know, still working on that. Um, honestly, like it's hard when you go out of your way to like formulate looks and pull shit together and then somebody just takes show shit. I don't know, it still kinda grinds my gears, but I'm trying to get out of it because like that's what I signed up to do. Not my light dying. Uh-uh, how long has my light been off? This is ridiculous. My lighting has been, I'm sorry if my lighting has been fucked up. Okay, I don't know how long my light is gonna last, so let's just leave it on for now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take off this scarf. And hopefully my wig is just so flat. It's just so flat and I just open my eyes and it's just the flattest wig. Um, it's, it's okay. Now, I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray on my hair. I'm gonna use this Aussie volumizing one. And that's gonna go on the top first. Yep. And then now we can go ahead and take out the pins that I have in my hair and we can work on spraying that after I'm done. Somebody said that I'm rude as hell. I don't think I'm rude. I think I'm, I'm kind of blunt. It's the Virgo in me. I'm very much honest. Um, I say what I think most of the time. Um, I try, I'm trying to be better with that in the way that I want to be honest and say what I have to say, but also I realize that people don't always want to hear my mouth, you know, people sometimes, you know, just want to live their life without my critiques, and I don't know why, because like I'm just so perfect, and I, I know everything, so like, I don't know why people wouldn't want to hear my critiques, but I understand that they wouldn't, so now I'm trying to work on like, not telling everybody what I think they should do and stuff, so here's my hair, I feel like this is going to be really cute when I start, uh, like, you feel me? So yeah, I'm not as rude anymore, I don't think. I don't know, I just started this change like a month ago, so. I just feel like a whole new person like every day. Like I just feel like <laughs> I be changing so often. I'm gonna try to gel this down. This isn't giving what it needs to give for me. Somebody said that I'm rich. <laughs> Baby, no. Y'all gonna know when I'm rich for real for real because I'm gonna start giving back to y'all. A big thing that I wanna do when I get some coins, some excess coin, that's um, when I'm comfortable and I'm paying my bills without like stressing about paying my bills you know when that happens i definitely want to start doing like giveaways i want to do a makeover for somebody one day i, I never want to talk about this too in depth because i want to buy somebody before i could do it and like that would be cool if somebody could do that for somebody but like i really have plans on things i want to do for the women who watch me especially the, the girls who comment all the time like the girls who show the most love like i'm definitely one day going to give back love to y'all because Y'all don't have to care about me and watch me or do none of the shit that y'all do for me and y'all do. So y'all gonna know when I got some money because y'all gonna get some benefits. Aaliyah ha Aaliyah's face had a giveaway for some Chanel earrings the other day. Like, not the other day, but during Vlogmas. Like, I wanna do shit like that, I don't, but I don't even got no Chanel earrings yet. You feel me? So like, let me, let me boss up my life and then we're gonna boss up everybody's life. You feel me? Like, that's the plan. I think I have to put a body pen or something in here because this is ridiculous. Yeah, that's all I needed. Okay, my hair looks flat now. The um, hairspray has kind of set. I'm gonna use this white tooth comb. It's the only one I know where it's at. So this is the white tooth comb I'm gonna use. I'm gonna just go ahead and give everything a comb through. I'm trying to, I hate when my hair look kind of spacey in the back when I do these like ponytails. I'm trying to make it like, there we go. This is cute. I like this. I haven't done a half up, half down in a while like this. Um, I usually have like some type of bang or something, but I was gonna do that, but I had to figure out a, a unique hairstyle because I'm trying to do something. I'm gonna actually go put on my clothes and update my face. Let me take my pictures real quick. Um, before my hair falls any, like at all, like I don't want my hair to fall in these pictures. So I'm gonna go take these pictures and I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts and a little, uh, like a couple more assumptions and then I'm gonna head on out, but I will be back in two seconds. So I'm gonna do a little spin around. I thought like that's what I should do. I'm, I'm gonna spin around, right? Like this. I hope I remember that I'm supposed to spin around when I come back, okay? Okay. Okay, so here's the look. Um, I got the Savage on. Pray for me. Pray that I just tag me a little sponsorship. Pray that I'm an ambassador soon. So if y'all want that for me, um, make sure y'all show some love in my recent post. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Beauty Via Julia. Um, this is a really cute style. I was supposed to do more assumptions, but honestly, I'm tired of shit. I've been working all day and... I'm gonna just go on to bed. A lot of y'all said the same thing, so I'm glad y'all kind of see me in a decent light besides me having anger issues. But other than that, I seem like a cool ass bitch to y'all, and that's all I am, so that's all it is, okay? Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, beautiful.